guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here if you are new i am amy i'm currently 30 weeks pregnant with my second child but it is my first daughter i currently have a 18 month old son and we are just like completely overjoyed to be adding a little girl to our family it is going to just complete our family today i'm going to bring you guys another pregnancy update this will be my 30 week pregnancy update i seriously just cannot believe that i am already 30 weeks pregnant that is just insane this pregnancy is going by so freaking fast but we will just jump right into it if you guys enjoy my pregnancy updates give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are not already and let's get started so i have been feeling her move like crazy you guys know this already she's been moving around for a long time now but for the most part it was only at nighttime where i would really feel her moving a lot but lately it's all throughout the day. I feel her all the time moving around now, especially after I eat or if I have like a cup of coffee or a soda, that is when I will feel her moving around the most. And then I do still feel her move around a lot when I lay down to go to bed at night. And it's getting to the point where I can really like see her moving from like side to side on my belly and just all of that fun stuff. So it's really really exciting to actually be able to see her move now and not just like feel it and my husband as well he he loves to be able to see her and feel her move too it just makes it even more real that she's going to be here in like 10 weeks or less and since she is going to be here pretty soon in like two and a half months or so maybe a little bit early i will not complain if she comes a little bit early that will be okay with me but my nesting urges have like full on started I woke up the other day and literally I just wanted to clean everything, like clean and organize just like everything in the entire apartment. I was so motivated to get so much stuff done and I did as much as I could and then I was just like done, like I could not do any more. I was so worn out, so tired. I get tired so much easier these days and just worn out just, just fixing my son lunch or fixing dinner or doing the dishes just like makes me so tired and then I just have to like sit down and rest for a few minutes before I can go and do something else because I'm in my third trimester now and I am definitely feeling it. But with that like a nesting urges that I'm having, I just want to get all of her stuff together. I want to like wash her clothes and put them in drawers, hang them up, pack our hospital bags. Like I am just ready to get all of that done. So moving on to more of some of the symptoms that I've been having. This is a pregnancy update, so I will be pretty real with you guys. So it's a little TMI. So if you guys don't wanna hear about any of this stuff, just like skip ahead a little bit and then you'll miss out of all this like TMI update portion of the video. But the first thing that has started happening is I've been having a lot of discharge, which is totally normal with pregnancy. I had it with my son a lot and it's just probably recently started in the past couple of weeks so i have also gotten to the point where i need to buy nursing bras and start wearing those because because all of my like pre-pregnancy bras are just so uncomfortable because as you know your breasts get larger while they're like filling up with milk preparing for the baby so i definitely need to get some of those and start wearing those because it is just uncomfortable these days to wear my regular ones another symptom i've noticed which i want to say i talked about this in my last pregnancy update i've been getting a really sharp pain in the lower area of my stomach if i'm walking around for long periods of time or if i walk too fast or something then i start to get like the sharp pain and i did talk to my doctor about it last time i was there and she said it was totally normal so nothing to be concerned about but that has started to happen more often just like walking around target or the grocery store probably like the past week and a half or a week i've been able to sleep through the night without having to get up and go to the bathroom and i know that's not going to last but it has been the past week for sure i've been able to sleep through the night without getting up and that is so nice to be able to get like a full night of sleep without waking up a couple times to go and use the bathroom and i know i talked about in my last video as well that I was having a lot of pregnancy insomnia and that has kind of stopped as well, at least for now. I, it probably will come back the closer I get to my due date, but as of right now, it stopped and, I've, and I have been sleeping really, really well. So that is a plus. It is so hard when you have a toddler and you're not sleeping at night either. Being able to get a full night of sleep has been just absolutely amazing. But I am at that point in pregnancy where even though I am getting a lot of sleep at night, I am still 
so tired like since I hit the third trimester my tiredness has just like hit me hard and I am just so tired all of the time so pretty much like 85% of the time when my son is napping I'm napping with him so I know I talked about in a couple of my previous pregnancy updates that I could not drink hot coffee that it just made me so sick like I would get so nauseated whenever I had hot coffee in the morning so it was really rough like not being able to have that caffeine first thing in the morning because I definitely needed it but this past week I started drinking hot coffee again I just tried it one day and it was good and I have not been sick it hasn't made me nauseated so I've been loving being able to have my cup of coffee first thing in the morning another thing I've noticed is throughout the day and especially towards more towards the evening time all that I want to drink is water my body is just telling me my body I guess is just telling me that it needs more water so all I've been wanting to drink is water I've been drinking a ton of it I usually have a cup filled up all day long filled with water and I just take it everywhere with me and so I wanted to share a couple like pregnancy essentials with you guys I thought about doing a separate video on this but I didn't feel like I had enough things to share and it wouldn't be that good of a video so I decided I would throw a couple of them in here to share with you guys some things that I've been using pretty much all through my pregnancy. So the first one I have shared before, it's my Pregnancy Plus app. That's the app that I use to track my pregnancy week by week, track her size and her weight and everything like that. And it sends me updates on how she's developing that week and all that good stuff. So I really love that app. So the next one is this belly lotion. I've been using this every day. I want to say pretty much since I got pregnant. I've been using it every day. I feel like it has helped a lot with my stretch marks. I haven't, I still had stretch marks from my first pregnancy because I did not use this my first pregnancy. So I had a lot of stretch marks still and I started using this before my belly even started to grow and some of those stretch marks started to go away. And then I've just continued to use it and I've noticed that I haven't really gotten that many stretch marks this pregnancy. So it's just the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula stretch mark massage lotion and i just buy this at target you can buy it pretty much anywhere i think but i definitely love this and i'll probably be using it postpartum as well to help get rid of those last stretch marks that i have another thing that i have been using i bought this i bought this when i was pregnant with my son and i used it some then not as much but i've definitely been using it more this pregnancy it is just 100 best foods for pregnancies so it's just a cookbook and it has different foods for each trimester and it tells you what they're good for and why they're good for that trimester this is what it looks like i'm sure you could get something similar off amazon or find the same one on amazon but i've really been liking using this and i will go through it pick out some foods that i know i will eat and i will try to incorporate that into our meals or buy them as snacks and just try to get those foods that are best for each trimester in my body to help baby grow. So the last thing that I'll share with you guys really quickly, I won't go into much detail because I know I did talk about this in one of my other pregnancy updates, but it is my what to expect pregnancy journal organizer. So it has different sections for, it has your pregnancy journal section, your childbirth journal, so you can write down everything from your labor and delivery experience. And then also as a pregnancy organizer, where you can put in information about your doctor's appointments or the tests that you get done and the results from those tests. It also has a place to put together your labor and delivery plan and as well as your hospital bag. It has like options of what you might want to put in your hospital bag so you can just make your list right there. So this is what that one looks like. And I just bought this one from Barnes and Noble. I want to say it was maybe like $12 or so. So really affordable and I love having this and keeping track of my pregnancy. So moving on to my belly, I will share with you guys what my belly looks like this week. Definitely growing. I know it's grown since I did my last pregnancy update because it's been a few weeks since I have done one. So I bought this cute little pumpkin squash thing. I'm not really exactly sure what you would call this. This is about the size that she is right now. So I'll give you guys a close up in a second. I want to say she's probably a little bit bigger than this, but the store either had this or a full-on pumpkin, and I know pumpkin was way too big, so I went with this. I thought it was fitting for fall. I thought it was super cute. So according to my app, she weighs about three pounds right now and is around, I think, 15 inches long or so. 
So here is the app. It tells you that she is the size of a winter squash and probably about 15 to 17 inches long and two and a half to 3.8 pounds. So I went and bought this cute little winter squash to kind of see how big she is. She's probably, I feel like she might be a little bit bigger than this, but probably around this size right now. But yeah, I will just show you guys my belly really quick. So here's my belly with my shirt on from the side. So from the side, the front, and the other side, she's getting so, so big. And you guys can probably tell that she is still super low hanging out down here. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you are not already. And I will see you guys very soon in my next update. Bye.